Currently working on part two of this video and I, I can't wait to be done because I'm so tired of talking about COVID. It's just so exhausting. I'm not done with it just yet. I expect it to be out by now, but I'm not done just yet because I got more research to do. Uh, let's just say I'm uh, chin high in research. So it's I'm swimming in it right now. So it's going to be a good one. I got a lot of good stuff coming in that bad boy but man am i ready to put that behind me because i should and when i here's the funny thing when i talk about covid you know i'm a little serious i don't like being that serious man i don't like going into that area of my back but you know sometimes you know when the world is like this it brings it out of you so i'm ready to put that past so i can just i can have jokes but besides that i just want to thank you for even watching just want to pause real quick and, and do that because i recently just passed 100 subs and all i want to do is just make great video I, I only think about this as i go through all my day when i'm in the shower when i'm driving all i think about is creating great video how can i take what i learn and teach it you know i love learning and i love teaching and that's why this exists so if you're a part of this journey and you're on the early side of it just a big thanks to you i always joke and say i swear if i could just research edit and shoot video like i think i would be good like i don't need to do anything else other than okay maybe i might have a social life maybe maybe i might drink or sleep I i'll think about it but if i could just do this oh man i wanted to dive into a concept that i came across or that i kind of thought of as i was doing research for that part too. The idea of fortifying the facts. I hate how dramatic and political COVID is. I truly, I despise it. It's so divisive and it almost seems as if what we're doing to exit the pandemic is making it worse. COVID is a big deal, but it's also a virus that generates a lot of rumors, a lot of he say, she say, if you will. We gotta be able to differentiate between that nonsense and the actual truth. Let's spin it like this. You probably heard that cracking your knuckles could give you arthritis. But here's the thing, are you able to stand 10 toes down with 100% certainty and say whether that's true or false? You see, when we get the facts, we fortify ourselves and we become a lot less susceptible to things that sound like nonsense. And I'm not talking about just cracking your knuckles, I'm talking about in general. There has to be an absolute truth. Two plus two equals four and anyone that argues against that is naive and actively trying to be uh, uh, an opposite and they're not worth our energy or our time. But there is also a difference between knowing the truth and arguing against it and just straight up not knowing. Which, excuse me if I veer off a little bit, I want no lab coat required to be a place where people can come and not know things and they aren't shamed because they don't know. I love the idea. Genuinely, I love the idea of saying, I don't know. People who say that, you got my heart. Because in this day and age, Everyone is quick to be a subject matter specialist. It's okay to not know. This exists because not knowing shouldn't be a sin. Anyways, let's get back on track. So let's apply this to COVID. Let's say that COVID, uh, you heard that it spreads this way. You heard that you're immune if you do this. You heard that it started with this. Here's the thing, just like cracking the knuckles, just like that analogy, are we able to stand on what we hear about COVID and, and say whether it's true or false with 100% confidence and certainty i want you to always be in that frame of thinking constantly questioning the source using that bs detector it works and here's how to check ourselves if you, when you and i when we're talking about the virus are we saying things we think are true or are we saying things we know that are true i'll give you an example if we think something it might start off with I heard blah, 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 or I think blah, 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 blah. I've personally been more hesitant to start my sentences off with things I'm not fully certain on, only because it ensures for me that I don't feed into anything that might be false. And that's not to say that you can't share something that you may have heard or something that you might think about anything. It's just the idea that we have to be conscious about the possible implications about speaking on something that we may not fully understand. And this right here is the most important part. This is what I wanted to really get to you. There are two ways to verify truth. Number one, we do the research and the work ourselves. And number two, we refer to researchers that we trust to do the hard research. Now, real quick, if you refer to research, you want to make sure they are one, unbiased, meaning they don't cherry pick the research to prove themselves right. Two, they put the facts first, meaning their argument is always based on evidence. And finally, don't take their advice if you don't fully understand their agenda. And you can tell when someone is making an actual humane effort to help others. And if they ain't checking our treatment boxes, 
they gotta go. And one more thing, if you do decide to do the research on your own, that's okay. I'm not suggesting that you become a specialist because I've done plenty of research and forgot what I learned two hours after. As long as you are able to come across the truth and get your question answered, that's what matters most. I believe just like everyone has a doctor, everyone should have a trusted researcher. And just like we go to the hospital for our doctors, for our checkups, we can go to our researchers on these different platforms. It could be YouTube, podcasts, on social media. You can read their books. I selfishly would like to be your trusted researcher. Anyways, I hope that video that I'm probably dropping next week is going to be the last video on COVID that I make hopefully forever because we'll be out of the pandemic soon but if not man i gotta woo because it's just so draining COVID is exhausting man everything about it is, and we've been in here like i said for almost two years we're almost there a year and a lot of months let's put it that way the stuff i'm going to share in that video isn't going to be popular narrative it's not going to be suggested by uh, any governing agency it's not going to be in the guidelines it's just not it's the most impactful but it's not going to be mainstream. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna get about y'all way. Mm -hmm.